There we go. Good morning, boys and girls, little lambs. Welcome to Jesus time today. I wish we could be together here in your preschool classroom. It seems so different with you not here, but I know you're at home. I know your mom and dad, they're taking care of you. They love you. I'm glad you're safe. But I'm also glad that we get to spend some time talking about God's Word today and Jesus and His love for you and for me. We've been working on the Ten Commandments. It's been a while since we've been able to look at the Ten Commandments because we've had spring break and now some extra time. But I'm looking forward to learning the rest of the Ten Commandments before the end of the school year. If you remember, the first commandment is, you shall have no other gods. And there is only one God. Remember the three in one. One God, and yet Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The second commandment, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, because there is only one God. God does not want us to use his name in a way that is disrespectful, but he wants us to use his name to pray and to praise and to give him thanks. Certainly at a time like this, with many people who are sick or sad, it's a wonderful time to call upon God's name and pray. That's how we use God's name rightly. So the first commandment, you shall have no other gods. The second commandment, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. The third commandment is remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Obviously, God wants us to hear his word and be strengthened, just like we're doing right now. Now, many of us can't go to church right now because we want to be careful and protect ourselves and others. But at the same time, God still wants us to hear his word each and every day so that we receive his comfort and strength. Now, boys and girls, those first three commandments describe our relationship with God. Again, you shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. So, boys and girls, say with me those first three commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Very good, boys and girls. Now let's go on to the fourth commandment that describes how we are to interact, our relationship with other people. The fourth commandment, honor your father and mother. Yes, boys and girls, your dad and your mom are God's gift to you. Think about all that they do for you how they provide you with food and clothes and a place to live, how they're keeping you safe now during this time. And so we are to honor, respect, and obey our parents. Honor your father and mother. The fifth commandment, you shall not murder. God doesn't want us to be mean or naughty to others, but he wants us to be nice and kind. And that's what the fifth commandment reminds us of, that we are called to love others and to be kind to others. So the fifth commandment again, you shall not murder. The sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery. Boys and girls, just like God has given you your mom and dad to care for one another, so God has given your mom and dad in marriage to love and to care for one another. And that's what the sixth commandment reminds us of, God's blessing of marriage and how a husband and wife are to love and care and support one another. So again, the fourth commandment, honor your father and mother. The fifth commandment, you shall not murder. And the sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery. Boys and girls, say those three commandments with me. The fourth commandment, honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. Very good, boys and girls. And now it's time to move on to the commandment we're learning today, which is the seventh commandment. The seventh commandment is, you shall not steal. Boys and girls, say that seventh commandment, you shall not steal, with me three times. You shall not steal. You shall not steal. You shall not steal. Now my guess is you know what stealing is. Stealing is taking something that belongs to someone else. You know, boys and girls, God has given you all that you need. He's given you more than what you need. You don't need to take something that belongs to someone else because God has given you all that you need. In fact, there's a much better way than stealing. It's another word that starts with the same sound, that starts with the letter S. Instead of stealing, God wants us to share. He wants us to share what we have 
with other people, to be happy with what we have, and when we have the opportunity to share, whether that's sharing our toys or um, sharing other things, that we do that. God wants us to share. He doesn't want us to steal. He doesn't want us to take what isn't ours. But instead, he wants us to share what we have. And boys and girls, as we think about that seventh commandment today, you shall not steal, I'd like to share with you a Bible story. I have a picture of it right here. This is the picture of Jesus and Zacchaeus. Now, boys and girls, you can probably see here that this is Jesus. Up here in the tree is Zacchaeus. And I'll tell you why Zacchaeus is up in the tree here in just a minute. But let me tell you a few things about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. And as a tax collector, unfortunately, he was stealing a lot of people's money. He was gathering more taxes than what he needed to gather. And he was keeping that extra money for himself. Again, he wasn't following the seventh commandment. He was sinning. He was stealing. Because again, boys and girls, the seventh commandment is, you shall not steal. Well, one day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming. That he was coming to Zacchaeus' hometown of Jericho. But Zacchaeus had a problem. He wanted to see Jesus, but he was very short. And he knew a lot of people would be gathering around Jesus to hear him and to see him. And so Zacchaeus had an idea. He was going to climb up into a tree. So that way he could be sure that he could see Jesus when he came by. And so it happened. Jesus came down the road. But not only was Zacchaeus able to see Jesus, but Jesus stopped and looked at him. And Jesus said to Zacchaeus to come down from that tree. Because Jesus wanted to go to his house that day to teach him, but also to help him see his sin and to forgive him, to forgive him all his sins, including the many times that he stole from people. And so that's what happened. Zacchaeus came down from that tree, and Jesus and Zacchaeus and the disciples, they went to his house. They had a wonderful meal together. And that day, Zacchaeus received Jesus' love and Jesus' forgiveness. And you know what Zacchaeus said? Not only did he say, I'm not going to steal any, anymore, but he said, all those people that I stole from, I'm going to give the money back. Isn't that amazing what Jesus' love and forgiveness did for Zacchaeus that day? That he realized that he had been stealing, and Jesus forgave him of that sin, and then also changed his heart so that he even gave back the money that he had stolen from so, so many people. Well, boys and girls, we know that when we sin, and we sin each and every day, right? The bad words we, th or the bad things we think, the bad things we say, the bad things we do, all of those are sins, including the seventh commandment. Every time we steal, you shall not steal. But just like Jesus loves Zacchaeus, just like Jesus forgave Zacchaeus, so Jesus forgives you and me. And you know, don't you, what did Jesus have to do to take away our sins? What did he have to do? That's right. He had to die on the cross. Die on the cross to take away our sins. And you also know the answer to this question. Did he stay dead? That's right. He came back to life on Easter. And so, when we sin, which we do every day, like Zacchaeus, we can come before Jesus and we can say, Jesus, I'm sorry. And what's Jesus going to say? That's right. He's going to say, I forgive you. And he's going to say, I forgive you because he loves you. Loves you so much that he died on the cross for you. So again, that's the seventh commandment for today. You shall not steal. Now what I'm going to do, and I invite you to join with me, we already know the first seven, there's seven right there, the first seven commandments. So I'd like you to say those first seven commandments with me, but I'm also going to say eight, nine, and ten, so you can start to hear the commandments that we still have to learn. So, boys and girls, start 
with me in saying the Ten Commandments. Again, we're starting with the first commandment, you shall have no other gods. So let's say it together. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Very good. We'll keep working on those Ten Commandments, boys and girls. Now, your teacher is going to be sending you a sheet that goes with the lesson today of You Shall Not Steal. I hope you enjoy working uh, with your mom and dad and working through that sheet. And also, if you or your mom or dad uh, need anything uh, from me or from Mrs. LaBelle, uh, please contact us. Okay, Even if it's uh, some prayers or some words of comfort during this difficult time, uh, let us know how we can serve you. Boys and girls, we're going to conclude our Jesus time today by praying together the Lord's Prayer, that prayer that Jesus gave us. So I invite you to fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your head with me as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, I enjoyed the time with you today. I'll keep praying for you, keep praying for your family, and again, look forward to seeing you again next week. God bless.